please note that I use the unit IPS or inch pound second. So for this video, I will show you how I created this three-dimensional figure using SolidWorks 2020. To start, select top plane, go to sketch and choose center rectangle. Draw the center rectangle with the center on the origin. Using the smart dimension, key in the indicated length and width from the pattern. Type 3.75 and 3. Then using the fillet command, type the radius from our copy of pattern which is 0.50 and select each sides of the corner of our rectangle. Then draw circles on each corner. Hold control and select the circles. Add relations equal. Now key in the radius for each circle. Measuring 0.38. Now go to Features and select Extruded Boss Base. Key in the thickness of the base which is 0.38. Select Enter. Go to front view and select this plane. Right click and then choose sketch. Then draw a corner rectangle on this plane. Using smart dimension, key in the height of the rectangle which is 0.06. as well as the length on each side, measuring 3 inches and enter. Notice that the bottom part has been already cut. Next, select right side view. Choose the right side plane, right click and then sketch. Draw a vertical and diagonal line using center line. Change the dimension into a height of 2.66 
and the length of 2.38. Then create an angle measurement. Select the diagonal line and its endpoint. Select the right arrow and key in 30 degrees. To create another plane, go to reference geometry and choose plane. Select the diagonal line as first reference and the right side of the figure as the second reference. Adjust the plane according to your convenience. Select the plane and sketch. Choose Convert Identities and select the diagonal line. Create a center rectangle with the center on the midpoint of the diagonal line. Change the length and width based from the pattern. Select the top line and the endpoint of the diagonal line. Add relations coincident. Select fully command and key in the radius 0 0.31. Select each sides of the corner of the rectangle. Then draw circles just as what I did on the base of the figure. Using extruded boss base, key in the thickness 0.31 and then reverse the direction. To create the middle part, hide first the plane and the top part of the figure. Go to top view, select the face where we will draw and choose sketch. Draw two corner rectangles. Add relations equal to the sides of both of the rectangles. Hold control and select the midpoint of this rectangle and the origin. Add relations vertical. Trim the excess line. Hold control again and select these two horizontal and add relations collinear.
change the width of the rectangle into 0.31. Hold Ctrl and select the midpoint of this vertical line and the origin. Add relations horizontal. Now unhide the plane and the top part of the figure. Choose Extruded Boss Base, then change the direction up the surface. Select the bottom part of the higher plane. Go to front view and select the face where we will draw. Right click and choose sketch. Draw a triangle using the command line. Do this also on its back. Go to features and select extruded cut. Then click the part we will cut. Do the same thing on the other side. Select again the face where we will draw the circle based from the measurement indicated on our copy of pattern.
Now we may cut this side to see the measurement. And then that's it. This is how I created our activity tree. Thank you for watching.